Right, this is a game that I call Turkey Trot. It is a uh, game or a Thanksgiving game that I play with kindergarten and first graders. And this is how I typically set up the gym. These blue stars here represent the turkeys who are uh, locked up in the turkey pen. And these gray stars here, here, and here are the turkey farmers or just the farmers. And they are protecting the turkey food. Now the turkey food is represented by these blue and white uh, rectangles, which are to represent bean bags. Okay, so you have several bean bags, and these black circles here represent a hula hoop, or a tire, or anything that can put the turkey food in. So we have a collection of turkey food here, turkey food, turkey food, and turkey food. Now the farmers have a tag stick or anything like that and their job is to protect the turkey food being taken by the turkeys. So on the signal, on the signal, this turkey would run and they can go anywhere they want on the signal. So this turkey can run in this direction, okay, and this turkey could run all the way to this direction and try and steal one of the pieces of turkey food and bring it back to the turkey pen. Now it's very important to note that the turkeys are only allowed to take one piece of turkey food at a time and if the turkey farmer okay, if the turkey farmer if this farmer were to tag one of the turkeys before they grab the turkey food, they are not allowed to take it back. So for instance, if we had a turkey farm uh, turkey let's say we had a turkey run and make an attempt to try and steal so this turkey was in this spot right here running and let's say that this this farmer here this turkey farmer tagged this turkey either with a stick or anything or a foam mallet or anything that you would like to use tags them before they grab the food that turkey this turkey would have to go all the way back to the turkey pen and then once they make it back to the turkey pen then they're able to go steal again and the game keeps going so that means that that turkey could then maybe go back to that same area or they could go attempt at another hula hoop and I usually play for about two to three minutes and then I switch turkey farmers and then we count and see how many pieces of turkey food those turkeys were able to get versus the ones that were being protected by the turkey farmers. And again, I call this game Turkey Roundup, and that's just another uh, game, uh, kind of uh, seasonal activity game that I play with my students. And I've seen this game via multiple sources and books, PE Central, and even on Twitter and called several different games. And that's uh, it for this idea. Hope you'll enjoy it.